Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we were able to make this, the Knowledge Star, and we are extremely close at being able to make our second one. And I do in fact have two mods that I wish to unlock today. But before we can make the second Knowledge Star, we need a little bit more Benyotite. So that is going to be, for now, the main objective. Which means, we need to run another vault. Uh, okay, I updated the pack, and apparently we have three available quests here, uh, which we can take a look at. But first, that's actually really exciting. Uh, first of all, okay, that's really cool. Uh, wait, you, I could get a pouch for. Ooh, I need to get. I no, I can't. I can't unalive six hundred mobs and that. I'm, uh, that I really want that. <laughs> That would be very, very nice. Um, mine, pizza night or uh, find vault apple. That's actually a good handful of emeralds and chromatic iron. I'll take it. You know what? I will take it. But let us take a look at uh, this. Apparently, complete bounty has been reset. Okay, I can do that. Regretting decisions. It can be rather stressful to make decisions when it comes to which abilities and what talents to make to take throughout your playthrough. But don't stress. Vault hunters have a mechanic for regretting your decisions using regret orbs. Consume Assuming a regret orb will give you an unspent regret point, which can be used to unlearn talents or abilities. To craft a regret orb, you need regret nuggets, which can be found in gilded chests. Fully completed regret orbs can also be obtained through bounties and completion crates. Acquire a regret orb. I believe I already have one of those, um, if I'm not mistaken. Orb of regret. Yep, that was easy enough. I don't actually have anything that I wish to regret at this point in time, but I suppose we got uh, four extras, so that's cool. And then we unlocked perfecting jewels, which I definitely want to get into as well later today. But for, for now, I think we just need to jump into a vault right off the bat. So to get this, we need a little bit of Mars, which I do have indeed. <laughs> I thought I didn't have any. There we go. We got the Mars. We have the wheel. And I think we have everything. Maybe. Nope, that's just a coal piece. That's fine. And three slime balls, which we definitely got in the last episode. Or was it the episode before it? No, it was last episode. Ka-ching! And I don't think I'm going to change the theme or the objective on this one. I think we're just gonna go with it and uh, have it be a surprise. Now, before we go in, I do have this vault chest plate right here, which I think I'm actually going to switch. Because if we take a look at this, my health currently is 25, damage is 16, defense is 31. Defense does go up, mana does go down, but health does increase as well, and I think it's going to be worth it. So, plus we get plus 6% item rarity, which we don't get here, only quantity. I want the rarity. Uh, we get extra armor and also ability power. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and quick. And we have more a stack of animals now. I didn't even, even realize. That is awesome. Let's get unbreaking three on this thing. There we go. I'm going to save this as a backup. I'm not sure why I'm saving backups, but I guess in case I die and lose everything, that would that would really suck. And of course, we mapped this pouch in the last episode, and we are still missing one pouch to map. Oh, when I crouch. What happens with my armor when I crouch? Oh, it has to be the shoulder. Anyway, let's grab this. I have blocks. I should probably grab an extra shulker box. Yellow. Yep, that's the puzzle stuff. And I think that I have everything. I have blocks. I have stuff that I need. I think we just need to go through. All right, it is it's an elixir vault, and we still have beginner's grace. If killed in the vault, you will keep your inventory, but receive a dur durability penalty. I don't actually know when that disappears. Maybe at level 20? I feel like it has been going for quite a while now. Oh, well. I mean, I will not complain. So, let's just straight off the bat get to it. Now, again, Benyotide is going to be the main thing that I really want to get from this. Ooh, coin piles. I will not hesitate to grab, and apparently I'll grab the uh, <laughs> the flower pot as well. That is fine. There's some living chest here. I got this, which I'm kindly going to do that for now. Oh, that's a bunch of stuff that I haven't seen before. Or maybe it's just gotten new textures. I don't know. Hello, fellas. Don't know if this is worth it. Maybe it is. It is if I can get rid of you. There we go. Any spawners in here? I don't think there is, but I will definitely take all these chests. And in this case, I can actually go ahead and vein mine that. Oh, that was satisfying. As things with chunks. That's new. Sandy rocks. Okay, I have to. I have to admit, I didn't know there was a bigger update for her for Vault Hunters with new things and stuff. That's cool though. 
But that also means I have not read the patch notes or anything like that. Discovering on the fly. I kind of like doing that. In a way, it's more relaxing and more exciting as well. Oh, almost missed these coins. Can't have that. All right, today we're going left. Okay, so this room has one of these where we can uh, get back quickly or get back after getting all the elixir, I should say. Ooh, the chests I will take. Oh, this is a big area. I like the... Okay. Of course. Of course, two trapped. Are you kidding me? Well, at least these guys are not like super fast for the most part in a way well i'm getting elixir so i can't complain really i really should get the what's the what's it called unobtainium or something the the purple and black blocks for marking my way around because these blocks i always bring something that kind of blends in with the environment oh that's a lot of living chests here that's actually a lot Wow, I will not complain. And we're almost done gathering all the elixir. Hopefully, yep, there we go. Consumer loadstone is all that I need to do now. Not bad. And apparently this pouch is unfortunately picking up <laughs> all my uh, my shards, which is not helping me. I, mean, I already have 1,200. Maybe I can make that uh, make that trade. If I make a vault run that where I solely focus on getting um, getting kills, not looting whatsoever, that could be doable. And that's where I came from. See, it's easy to get lost here. A vault compass would actually be very handy. However, it is not one of the mods that I'm planning to unlock today. Oh my, that's a drop. I don't want to go down there. And now the trapped one, of course, was... Whoa, my health. Hold up. I didn't notice it was that low. <laughs> I don't use the vial often, but it's nice to have. It is very handy. Coins, gotta love it. And if I just do this, perfect. Oh, hello. I do not want to get hit by you. You guys are special. Uh, don't know what any of those symbols means. I suppose rage or something. You are something else. Uh oh. Oh wait, I got four mod boxes. I don't. What? What the, the, the? I will not complain one moment. Wow. That was unexpected. <laughs> Is that new or has that been there the entire time? But just. Ow. Get away. Get away. Or just extremely rare. Wow. That was some great loot from that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it was very dangerous if I had actually been hit by, uh, by that guy. But. Wow. Not bad. But good to know that they can actually spawn like that, so not to rush uh, towards POVs. But give, give it a, give them a chance to uh, spawn in and see what they're up to. You know, it's probably not a bad idea if that can happen. Getting some good stuff here, I feel some very good loot. However, again, half the time is gone, and I still haven't found a single ore. Maybe I need to hurry up and just start searching for ore piles instead of these normal chests. I wouldn't mind if ooh gilded. What's that? Gilded ingot? What? Gilded? I don't know what all this stuff is used for, but I'll I'll take it. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Refilter your mana. That's cool. Okay, clear this out bit by bit. That was a very cool combo, and I liked it, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Oh, I knew I heard something. That was also a cool combo. Ooh, ore plates. Okay, please have Benyatite. 
that would be really really cool uh let's see bend your tight bend your tight bend your tight please have bend your tight Ooh, yes bend your tight good no bend your tight i don't think i got any bend your tight did i get bend your tight hold on no unfortunately i did not uh, i got this i suppose i got a bunch of other jewels which is good just not the stuff that i truly wanted I just hot keyed vein miner to uh, one of my keys, and it actually makes it way easier because. Okay. Whoa! Oh, I thought you were a big. <laughs> I thought you were a big, big mob. Oh, oh, oh! You're you're fast. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. Please go away. I mean, I like the stuff that you are giving here. Hold on. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, having the miner set up, yeah, just makes it a lot easier. Okay, I think I might need to use my shock box. Whoa. Okay, that could have gone very bad. That could have gone very bad. <laughs> I almost got knocked off the edge. I don't think I would have been able to recover from that. Yeah, that was a bit unnecessary of a risk. I mean, five minutes remaining. I will have to go home fairly soon. That's one of those rooms. Oh, no. No, it's not. Wait, what is it? Okay, it is one of these rooms. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Uh, I don't feel like I'm ready for this. <laughs> uh, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. This could end very good, but it could also ve end very badly. I'm gonna do that, you know. I'm actually gonna do that. Ah, oh, that's a relief. That's a relief. All right, gotta get all these, then head back to my original startup room, or the room where I can actually get out of here. As long as I leave with like three minutes and 30 seconds remaining, I think I should be okay. All right, I believe that I believe this is the final one and yep if I have like two minutes remaining I might check out one of the other rooms nearby okay going here I need vault fruit that actually gives me more more vault time in case I need it just as a security precaution it's weird I haven't actually seen one of those lodestones in any of these other rooms is that one I don't think it is but this it's my original room, so that means I have to go back here, I'm pretty sure. And then I think downstairs. <gasps> Wait. No, this is too risky. This is too risky. This is too risky. This is too risky. I need to find the lodestone first. Uh yes, the lodestone is right there. Good, 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 good. So I can like leave with like 30 seconds or so. Bend your tight. Bend your tight. Bend your tight. I see bend your tight. I see Ben your side. Wait, I need, I need space. I need space. I need space. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I just realized all this loot that we have. <laughs> okay. Please. Yep. One Ben your side. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, that sucks. That really, really sucks. More would have been nice, but you know what? It's fine. Boom. Vault completed. We didn't get the Benio type that we wanted, but it's fine. This is not going to be the only vault run that we do in this episode. All right, 134 mobs are alive, 137 chests looted, and 15,000 experience points, and an elixir crate. <laughs> That's not too bad. Bedtime. Oh, not bedtime, apparently. And a bunch of loot. Things that I don't even know where it belongs and what to do with. Uh, right. I don't even know where to. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, right. Things has been stacked here. But let me just quickly make sure that there are no duplicates in this. Make sure we have things in here. I just need to make sure that whatever is in here isn't also in here. But I think this is right. I'm just missing two. I just want to add two of something. It looks like we are starting to get gilded scones, whatever that is, and also ornate chain. So now I can go to backpack settings here, select all slots, and then save to slot. Aha! Save to slot two. There we go. So if I go back to 
the backpack. Yep, it's set. Beautiful. Right, well, let's go through the loot, shall we? There's a bunch of stuff that I don't actually know what to do with. I mean, we have a bunch of... I don't need this. Like, we have a bunch of unidentified things, and it looks like we're getting what is called the Vault Suite, which actually is a food source. And I feel like it's faster to eat as well, so that could be become our new food source. But now it's gonna go in here. Wooden chips uh, turns into wooden planks, apparently, which can then be used to make stuff. So I probably just want to grab all of those. Uh, actually, let me just grab everything of this and empty that one at a time. And I can turn it uh, back anyway, so that's fine. And with that thunder, that means we can sleep. Ooh, and we have 1400 shards. I could get this. I could so get that. I really want to get that. We need to get that. I'm getting that. <laughs> I'm getting that today. We got four mod boxes. I'm not going to open them now. I'm actually going to save them. So I'm going to take them out of this and put them in here. Because when we unlock the two mods that I want, these could come very much in handy. An ornate ingot, which can be turned into ornate block. So basically just a bunch of building stuff, I presume. I like it. I may need a separate chest for that, but my, my solution will come. We got a wooden affinity, 81, 83 size though, but we will do something with that today. Whoa, flawless jewel. Ornate affinity, axing, and hammer size. Spelting a trap disarm chance and soul bound. Wow. Okay, we have an unidentified magnet, unidentified vault helmet, chest plate, pants, helmet, helmet, and boots, and a bunch of coins, and an unidentified relic, and a new source of food. Gotta love it. And suit, apparently. Now, in here, we got a bunch of different things, of which 27 knowledge essence. Not bad at all. And I'm sorry to say it, but the organization that I made in the last episode is already out the window. <laughs> we need a better solution for this. Which, Again, I have, just can't make it yet. And in here we have a bunch of weird things. Velvet, which can be used to make more stuff. And topaz shards, which can make topaz blocks. And, oh really, I picked up the flower. I don't need a slot for flower parts. I really don't think I need a slot for flower parts. Come on, that was a mistake. Uh, yeah, I'm already out of uh, space. That's a temporary solution. Listen, I don't like it any more than you do, but it's literally only temporary <laughs> for the remaining of this episode. Well, I guess now that I have the flower part, why not? Uh-huh. And, oh, come on. Okay, boost pack, nothing. That is fine. I am going to place these as well, by the way, because don't need them at this point in time. Okay, let's get this relic fragment. Hopefully, that looks like something we already have. Please let it be something that we don't already have. We already have it. Come on. That's unfortunate. Uh, I like these small sweets. I like them. They're not as good as the bread, but I feel like they're faster to eat. In which case, I am happy to take them and try them out. All right, let's try the common plus stuff first. And let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, okay, magnet. Let's take a look and compare. So the range is less durability is higher velocity is a lot higher which is amazing uh plus extra reach and plus item rarity Ooh, i might i might upgrade yeah I, I think i'm gonna upgrade i think that's an upgrade for me because the velocity that's the like the quickness i, I believe less range but it does have that extra range on it so i think it's gonna be all right okay let's take a look at the helmet uh i'm still running with a level three okay let's take a look here armor is five durability is a little bit less so bound and ability power increased attack damage five percent uh healing efficiency and trap disarm chance I think that's a straight up upgrade. I mean, I, I'm gonna uh, identify these two here just to make sure, but this seems like a straight up upgrade. Now the chest plate, let's compare that. Um, so I'm running with a, uh, I just took this, hold on. Okay, less durability, more arm, no, same armor, a lot more ability power, extra durability, increased attack damage and healing efficiency. I'm not happy with the prefixes. Um, I am tempted to give it a reroll in the prefixes and suffixes. Can be used to modify Volcay, reforge all prefixes and suffixes. Let's try it. Eh. Extra health, increased attack damage, and trap disarm chance. Ah, let the stats speak for itself. Less health though, more damage, defense is the same. Uh, let's try again. It's a gamble. Increased attack damage plus two health and mana regen. Ooh, damage got up, health does still go down. I think I've got to do that though. I think I've actually got to do that. Um, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, let's compare the helmets. Uh, we got a... So let's compare these two helmets. We got five armor, 600 durability, soul power, ability power. Hold on. I have to... Have to... <laughs> 
Okay. Right. Armor, more durability, soul bound, less build power, plus health, not back resistant. I am called to see an item rarity. Not as good. I don't think it's good. Definitely not as good. I'm just gonna destroy those. Um, yeah, don't, don't care for them. Time for the pants and the boots. Maybe we'll get a whole new set today. Okay, boots compared. Uh, five armor versus five armor. Durability, lower ability, power, higher, and healing efficiency. I think that's good enough. No, no, it's it's not good enough. Leggings? I'm using level zero vault leggings. <laughs> okay, uh, less armor, less ability, more ability power, knockback resistance. Um, maybe if we get better prefixes. If we get better prefixes, then uh, then maybe. Knockback resist, still durability, healing item quantity. Increase attack damage, plus one armor, healing efficiency, item quantity. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Defense is the same. Mana goes... Oh, mana goes down to 100. It's fine. I can live with it. I can live with it, I think. I think. I think. Mm, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Please go, though. Okay, well, that is basically a brand new set of armor. Let us go ahead and grab our animals, and let us get unbreaking on this, unbreaking on that, and uh, unbreaking on this. Do I need anything else? Aqua affinity, respiration. I'm not really going into any waters. Boom, 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 and boom, boom, boom. We have a brand new... Okay, the chest plate looks beefy, though. Okay, wow. I'm not gonna complain. Not bad. I completely forgot about this. Ooh, good stuff. Very good stuff. Oh, wow, very good stuff. Okay, we got a blank seal. That is really good. We got rare plus boots. Okay, may maybe maybe we'll get the boots as well today. And we got an unidentified axe as well. Let's get it all. Okay, that's actually a very strong contender. Very, very strong. If I can get these rerolled. 12 gold. If I can get these rerolled, I think I'll be pretty happy. These cannot be compared whatsoever. Eh, kind of, but no, 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 they can't. They just can't. Uh, this helmet. Uh, that's actually health expired. Let's see. Nah, I'm happy with what I got. These boots, though, if I can change the prefixes a little bit. Ooh, that's extra armor. That's extra armor. That's actually not bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new set of farmer. Uh, let's get Feather Falling 4, and I don't even know if Unbreaking 3 is worth it. I don't know if it is, but I I'm gonna go for it. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, a brand new set of armor. I will not complain. And we have a mystery box. And we get a diamond. One diamond. Ooh, sweet kiwi. Oh, we do have kiwis. I talked about this earlier. Okay. And we have almost a stack of vault gold. And before taking a proper look at jewels, it's bedtime. And before looking at the jewels, we do have this axe. Attack speed. Yeah, no. Okay. No. Boop. All right. Let's take a look at these. 50 size wooden affinity. That's bare. That's a good quite affinity. That's a uh, item quite rarity. I thought it was a gilded thing. This is gilded. This is really good. This is uh, vanilla immortality. That's also kind of cool. But most cool though is this. We already have one. Oh, okay. Our current one is actually better. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is probably getting getting a little bit on the long side. So I don't think the original plan of spending our knowledge stars is going to happen today because I want to run another vault. I need to get more Benutite for me to do it properly. I want to do it properly and it would allow me to hopefully get enough shards to buy a third pouch. So I think that's what we're going to do. That also means but did I not complete a bounty? I, I picked a bounty, didn't I? Oh, well, I pulled in. Oh, okay. I apparently didn't find enough. But that, uh, but as I was saying, that also means we will not get to this point today. I really want to get to this. I'm very excited for it, but there's no rush. It is just how to uh, perfect the jewels and such, and we're not going to be making any new tools until we reach level 20 anyway, because that's when we unlock the next batch, which I'm really excited for. But yeah, we're going to run another vault now, and hopefully, if we get everything that we need, next episode, we will be setting up the mods. So let us see what the recipe is. Basalt. Basalt? Eh? I need gunpowder as well. Can I make gunpowder? I don't, apparently not. I need, I need it to be nighttime. That's not cool. Snowballs. Where, how would I have, oh, never mind. Right. I need five gunpowder and three basalt. I have not gone to the nether yet. Um, I don't even, okay, do we have obsidian? Oh, wait, have I? No, I don't. Ah, uh, nether portal. Wait, let me steal. So I needed to wait for nighttime. And in the meantime, I'm going to go get basalt. Um, all right, there we go. Eat some vault sweet and let's go through. Okay, uh, why didn't I bring my Lytra? That would have probably been a good call, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I need my Lytra. Lytra has been acquired. Yoink. Perfect. Okay, I need basalt. I'm going to set a waypoint here saying home portal because otherwise 
Finding my way out could be difficult. And looks like we have basalt deltas over here in this direction. I mean, there's some up there, but I'm not. I'm, I, that's difficult to reach. Oh, we have right here, actually. Just got to wait for my dash to cool down. The lava is so bright with the shade, but I love it. All right, this is a scary, scary thing to do. I don't like it. All right, land on this and get main miner and just get like a stack of this, I, I guess. Because very soon, if all goes according to plan, oh no, we will not be having any more storage issues again next episode and home portal should be yep right there that was easy now i just gotta hunt for creepers and the thing i think i really need to do more is grab those things from quark like gunpowder for example like the these like the sacks of things because you can actually get a lot of different things sweet berry gunpowder nether wart cocoa bean glowberry like those five is things that you could get in in this essentially so i really need to start taking more more of those when I see them. Right, just gotta wait five minutes for night time now. That's one gunpowder. And two gunpowder. Nope, three. Okay, I feel like that effect is new. When you try and use an ability where there's no mana for it. Or, uh, sorry, not mana, but uh, the cooldown is not over. That's a cool sound. Also, this is three creepers. This could go either really good or really bad. All right, there we go, that's five. Ooh, just got out of there. Get rid of you. And get rid of you. And I don't want you following me. <laughs> nice. All right. And that means I can now sleep. Good night. Apply the gunpowder. Equip my chest plate. Put the lights away. Heat up. Press this button. And I have this run to complete it because then I'm out of time. <laughs> so let's go. All right, it is a monolith vault that is quite all right with me. I'm going to equip my vial in my hotbar just in case. All right, let's get to looting again. Preferably, I'm going to be searching for all piles. Maybe I should search for that first, actually. Yeah, my focus probably should be uh, all areas and getting as many mobs as possible. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh they. Sorry, buddy. But I, I need those. I mean, as long... I, I can spend the first five minutes just doing this. It's fine. Especially when we're talking about living chests. Oh, that's poison. Come on. Not what I needed. And that is our first monolith. Ooh, and or room. Or, or, or area. Very good. All right. That's right off the bat, so bed your tight right there. That is two of them. I have nine at home, three here, so I have 12. Just need four more. Okay, yeah, these vault sweets are definitely a better food source than my, than my old bread, that's for sure. Oh, where did you guys come from? I'm not gonna leave one mob un unalived. <laughs> okay, so like this is a crate of carrots. That could be useful. All right, already at 1600. This should be an easy win. But I will not celebrate until we've gotten everything that we need. Oh wow, look at all these chests. Boom. Oh, that's not really something to celebrate, but. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I can afford that. If I can just get this to 18, if I can just get this to 1800, then I will be pretty much secure to get to be able to buy that. And I mean, we're getting there pretty rapidly. All right, please have been your type. Please have been your type. Nope. Bunch of other stuff though. Okay, I'm spawning in a lot of things here. I could be very easily overwhelmed. Don't. You there, go away. I mean, I welcome the fight. But I hear a lot of movement and I'm not sure where it's coming from. Oh, yeah, devil in for the win. Whew, and there we go. Pretty decent amount of shards. 
and trapped. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Hold up. Hold up, hold up. I don't trust that one bit. Oh, that's difficult. Okay, you are difficult to deal with. <sighs> but I got it. I got him. Okay, the vaults are definitely a lot more interesting now. <laughs> and I'm only well level, what, 13? I'm scared of what is to come. Okay, 13 minutes. I need to focus up uh, all areas, monoliths. That's what I need to focus on. Nothing else really matters. And I believe soul shards will now be very soon complete. I can take stuff if it's like close up like that. So it just takes one one swing of the of the pickaxe. But if it's not, then I gotta leave it. Okay, 1800 shards. Second monolith. Kinda gonna run past this if I can. No ore stuff here, unfortunately. Which means... I'm going this way. Running past all that kinda triggered some stuff. Ooh. This could be good. This could be very good. This could be extremely good. Please have been your tight. Uh oh. I do not want to be down there with that. Quickly mind this. Ben your tight. No Ben your tight. Come on. Oh, wait. None. I, I got none. <laughs> I got none. I actually got none. This could be an old place. It's not, though. Whoa! 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 Hello. Yikes. Don't know what those symbols mean either. I just know you're down. Oh, okay. You're down. There's beast and speed and frost thingy. Oh, we got a totem. Oh, we got a totem. This is not bad, actually. Okay, this room is the last room that where we have a chance of getting what we need. AKA, bend your tight. I will check downstairs first because I feel like that is where the chance of it spawning is the highest. I literally just need four more bend your tight, like four. Come on. I know I'm risking it big time here. Uh, that's one of those. I don't see an old place. I don't see an old place. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. I don't want to risk it, just in case I fall down a hole or something and then can't make it out in time. Oh well, at least we're that much closer to getting the remaining banner type. We wouldn't be able to do anything with the mods anyway today. Uh, so we'll just have to get a next episode. But that's fine, because we got all the shots that we needed. That was the main thing that we got down here for. And unfortunately didn't get all the monoliths either. To be fair, I probably shouldn't have, have looted the first seven minutes or something like that. Then maybe I would have had everything that I needed. But maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Uh, is that the way I need to go? That is the way I need to go. Goodbye. <laughs> and going through. Didn't get much, as we can see. I unalived almost 200 mobs, though. Didn't get that much XP whatsoever, though. Uh, is it raining? Can I sleep? Nope. No, all right. But again, filled. Ooh, we got a bit of lemon at 30 seconds to the vault time. That's amazing. Uh, but yeah, again, these setups right here worked wonders, especially this new one. Like, it got pretty full. And we got a lot of stuff here, which I will go through really, really quickly. So again, we got nine better tight here. So we need, in total, in order to do this, we need uh, four more in order to make another uh, perfect Benio type, basically. So hopefully we can get that next time. But we've got a bunch of cra uh, crate of ca carrots here. I can't speak. And that is over a stack of carrots. Not bad. We've got a coconut slice, which is interesting. We've got a bunch of unidentified vault axe, sword, another axe, and the totem. Uh, we got mining speed and we got uh, picking. Oh, picking and mining speed. Oh, okay. We didn't use the shulker box whatsoever. Oh, wait. I need to grab the thing. I need to grab the thing before it runs out. Uh, wait. Hold on, first. Okay, four remaining. Let's get this. Boom. 
Oh, we got a third pouch from the shop. That is amazing. Gotta love it. We will not be needing the, um, what's it called? The soccer boxes anymore. That's perfect. Right. Overall, though, not too bad of a haul. Remember these packs? Nothing. What a surprise. And we got even more vault snacks. I think that is probably going to be our main food source for quite a while. I'm just dumping everything in here. We'll fix it next episode. I promise. It'll make sense. I have a plan. Don't worry. Boom, boom, boom. Nice. And my jewel box is officially one slot away from being full. Wow. All right. Let's identify this stuff in the rain. Actually, I'm going to go down in my cave. It's cozier. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's take a look. The axe, uh, decent attack speed, poor. Oh, that's actually, mm, it's okay when it comes to attack speed, but the damage is not ideal. I, I, I'm not gonna run with axes. Uh, sword, on the other hand, let's compare. Uh, durability, much more durability, little bit less attack speed, less attack damage. Uh, mine does have arthropods damage and attack range though. Arthropods, I don't really care for. Chaining attack, nether damage and sweeping hit chance. If the prefixes were a bit better. Soul chance, under the damage healing cloud Ooh, healing cloud that's not bad little bit less attack damage but more soul chance which is good undead damage is really good um and healing cloud i think that might be an upgrade this is definitely a scrap i mean i can throw that in there right off the bat boom but this sword might be an upgrade i'll keep it in my inventory for now and i'll think about it let me know what you guys think down below in the comments uh attack range attack speed nah i i, I don't like access now this we have so that would replace the shield essentially which right now has plus three health thorns damage and thorns chance and block chance however with the totem we get 15 extra mana 10 of affinity don't know what that does durability and mana regen not i i feel like the shield is doing a pretty decent job right now i don't feel like i really want to replace it with the totem however i'll place it in here for now and because it's raining i'll bring this place it here and we'll do the, uh, the outro in the cave so ladies and gentlemen i hope you have enjoyed this episode and we didn't get to do any of the stuff that i originally had planned but we will get to it in the next episode sometimes everything relies on what you actually get in the vaults and well we got some pretty decent stuff we got an extra pouch we got a full set of new armor and a bunch of other good things as well so in the next episode hopefully we're going to be getting the four remaining benyotite so we can fix our storage then if there's still time perhaps we could get to perfecting jewels because i really want to continue the quest view but all in good time but guys like i said i really hope you enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to leave it a like subscribe if you're new and enable those notifications helps the channel out a ton and i hope to see you in the next one until then have a wonderful day and goodbye Bye.